well, I didn't really want to make this video, um, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do, and I know other people are experiencing this, so I kind of wanted to make more videos out there. Um, I think there needs to be more content out there about stuff like this. Um, and no, I'm not not sick or feeling bad or ill or anything. Um, it's really come down to the holidays coming up and how are people dealing with family members who are just kind of in the deeper, darker troves of the internet and finding things out that um, maybe aren't necessarily agreed upon or are possibly true in modern society. And family members and friends, it's kind of a general term. Um, Thanksgiving is coming up, Christmas is coming up if you're celebrating. Obviously, there's a lot of Jewish holidays right now. Um, I think Ramadan is over, I believe. Um, so maybe not necessarily uh, applicable in this particular case just because of the time of year. But really, this, this time of year for a lot of people is big on um, big on, on getting around family and friends. And um, I, I think we've kind of gotten this weird point where if... There's a lot of people I think who know what true is and what true is is becoming more and more of a vague issue, but it's not something that I think we agree on or can agree upon. Um, I think people think pretty differently about how to fix the economy or how to invest. Um, sorry, I keep hitting the table. I had to come to the booth because I didn't want to make this video around other people because it is kind of a, a sensitive topic. So here I'm late in the day at work and I'm in the, the phone booth here so no one can hear me talk. Um, but at any rate, yeah, how do we approach this? Um, I, I've got some, some interactions with people who are in some really dark troves of the internet and believing some really crazy stuff just because they saw it on the internet. And I think people lose sight of how I think people lose sight of, um, people can put whatever they want to on the internet, but, but and I'm not going to mention the websites because I definitely don't want to promote them, but the tactics and topics that I'm seeing is people take legitimate headlines and they say that they're getting intel from people, sources that work there. They're, they're definitely vague, um, definitely very vague. Uh, and then they just kind of say, hey, I've got intel from someone who works there. They read some legitimate headlines, stuff that I've read about in the Wall Street Journal, um, online, days prior. And then these people just put their spin on it. One of the videos I watched was about the banking system. And they start the broadcast with some legitimate news articles and just kind of spiral down so much so that just the stuff they're talking about is it blows my mind. I'm not going to talk about it here. Um, it, it is comedic, but these people are doing this um, for views, obviously. I mean, it's, it's very clearly a grab to, to, to get people to watch stuff. But I think what's terrifying is that the people take this and you see disclaimers that this stuff is for entertainment purposes only. And, and we know it's, it's just for views or people might beli literally believe this stuff. Um, but it, it's clickbait and people watch and buy into it. But what do we do when people, like I said, start to believe it? And I think that's where I want to talk about what I'm doing um, with these people that I've encountered. I think the, the one thing we shouldn't do is confront them directly as much as we want to. They obviously, maybe we have different beliefs. And I think as long as they're not telling me what to do, um, or saying what I believe is wrong. I think we can let it go, but I, I think what everyone needs to realize is you probably just, <laughs> I don't want to say keep your opinions to yourself, but I think that's definitely a safe way. And, and I think feel a room out. Some people don't necessarily have a good grasp of that, um, feeling the room out and figuring out what people want to talk about. Cause it's certainly not something that, that is most people would believe would be a um, conspiracy theory and if you if it's not on YouTube it's probably not acceptable and there's a lot of you out there that would say oh well there's tons of stuff that's not acceptable on YouTube uh, some of it's probably maybe specific to a certain organization 
or maybe religion. Um, but if it's not out there, if you can't, I guess, verify some facts, um, it's probably not not a, maybe a good thing to, sh to share it. I mean, that's what, that's what I talked to this person and I said, hey, thanks for your view. I really appreciate you talking to me about this. Um, I'd like to maybe know more about your point of view and where you're coming from. But the problem is this person hasn't necessarily provided any information other than some, some very obscure places where videos are posted on the internet. I'm not talking deep, but I'm just talking about some definite gray and darker areas of the web that are off the beaten path. Um, so I, I'm definitely listening to their viewpoint. The problem though is, is, is these people keep reaching out and kind of spewing the same thing over and over again. And I guess that's what I'm trying to figure out what everyone else is doing. Um, I mean, it, you know, maybe you, you are someone who's, who shares points of view that your family doesn't, doesn't agree with, um, or believe in, or maybe you're kind of like maybe someone in my particular instance, similar to that, that's, um, that's really talking about how they, they know that the person is, is believing something they probably shouldn't, it's not healthy to believe, um, or so far from the truth that, um, it's, it's tough to hear. Um, so I'd love to get your feedback. Like I said, I'm, I'm listening to the person, I'm acknowledging it. I, I'm trying to, to get them to talk it out so that they hear themselves what they're saying, because again, um, <laughs> I think the viewpoint that they have is not a healthy one, um, but I'm also not trying to, to confront them about it necessarily as much as I want to. I don't think that's that's there. Um, and some of these people that I've been dealing with too, I've tried to to show like, hey, here's some factual information, but they, they spin it, but that's not facts. They're not publishing the, the right stuff. I mean, obviously I'm talking about some vaccine data. Um, but yeah, it's just interesting to, to see. Um, Definitely try to learn more about their point of view, watch what they're watching. I'll bring it up a few times um, with them, but I'm kind of running out of things to do. So I wanted to hear from you all maybe what um, what might be what might be helpful. Uh, Cause I, I'm kind of at my wits end. I've kind of told them a few times that I definitely don't believe in what they're, what they're saying. I just don't see the validity in it. I, I, I don't see any path that gets us there so yeah please comment down below i'd love to hear back from you guys about maybe what uh what might be some good techniques um I, i'm not going to say i believe in it just to get them off my back but i'm also not going to ostracize them or confront them um really unless they're they're trying to to share their ideas with other people um because I, I mean i want to be respectful and, and try and and get them to see both sides just like i try to do um, but yeah, I'd love to hear more. I need some help from you guys to, and I would love to hear more about your thoughts about maybe how I can approach family members or friends, people that are close, not just acquaintances, um, that, that some people might consider are talking about conspiracy theories. So yeah, comment below. Would love to hear it. Um, love to hear from you all. I'm, I'm really desperately looking for some help. So I'd love to hear back from you guys. Thanks guys for watching. Catch you on the next one.